This session is on floodplains and levees with the idea of explaining what they are and how they form. Let's start with what they are. Now, here we can see a levee. It's this raised area of land next to the river. And a good definition of levees is raised banks at the edge of the river channel. They can be natural, they can be made by people, and they're known by other names such as embankments. This picture here shows an artificial levee. You can see the digger here constructing it. And this one is the San Joaquin River in central California. Meanwhile, if we look at what floodplains are, they're these flat areas of land next to the river that would become covered in water during a flood. And there is a definition. So how are they formed? Well, let's start by having a look at this picture. There's clouds, there's trees there. Um, this is the river channel. Um, and here are some proper definitions. River valley is the large U shape we've got here. And then the river channel is the trench within the river va valley that holds the water. Now, during a flood, Flood waters will come out of the river channel and over the surrounding land. And the floodplain is this flat area of land here and here next to the river channel that becomes flooded. So during a flood, the river bursts its banks, water will escape onto the surrounding land. And floodplains are wide because river meanders move or migrate across them. And as the river meanders move across these areas of flat land, it also flattens them out. Um, they're raised because material is deposit deposited on them, which I'm going to discuss in the next part. Um, sensible uses of this land within the floodplain are things you don't mind getting flooded. So here's a football pitch. If occasionally you can't play football at a weekend, it's fine. Unfortunately, too many people are wanting a river view and building their houses right beside rivers. When the river floods the surrounding land, it will drop, it will deposit sediment onto the floodplain. Um, this sediment is known as silt or alluvium. And the material that's deposit, deposited um, is there because the river slows down when the water moves over the surrounding land and because it's so shallow and friction helps slow down the water and drop the material. Now, over time, we get large mounds of material being left right beside the river. And that's because the largest um, items of sediment will be dropped right next to the river and then smaller items will be dropped further away because they can be carried further away um, from the river. So the heaviest material is dropped closest to the river channel, finer material is dropped further away, and this leaves a grading of material, largest here, smallest at the edge, and that means we're left with these raised banks next to the river, which are known as levees.